Now, here in this video, we are going to do some interactive things. Using some of the methods or timer-like concepts, we can actually make some animation-like things in your web page. And this will definitely not destroy the performance of the web page as whatever functionalities we will make, it will all execute on the client side only. So there will not be any post back things happening. So let's see practically how to do some basic level of animations in your web page. So here inside the body, you can see like I have placed the IMG tag for putting the animation and here I have four images in the same location that is one, two, three, four dot PNG. All right. And uh, the name of this IMG tag is IMG one so that I can access it uh, from the JavaScript code from this name. And uh, I have called a couple of methods which I'll discuss later. But before that, let's go to the JavaScript tag to see how I have placed the animation. As here you can see, in the very first line inside the script, I have placed an array of images in which I have just put the name of the images. As I said, 1.png, 2.png, 3.png and 4.png. So one by one, I want these images will be set in the IMG tag. And for pointing each particular element of this array, I have taken the uh, i means our index variable, which will point an individual element of this array. Now, uh, after that, I have taken a reference so that I can uh, control the timer and the slideshow, which I am getting started. I'll discuss about this ref later. Now, inside this function pick library, what I have done is uh, document dot images. Since you can have a number of IMG tags in your document, I am asking for the first one, the index 0. Either you can use this particular name also inside this square bracket. So, uh, just I wanted to check like uh, the SRC will be ARRI. Initially, the value of I is 1. The index will begin with 0, but I want that the uh, I, it should start with the one. Why? Because by default, I have placed the one dot PNG in the uh, IMG tag. All right. So uh, as soon as uh, you will load it, you will show, you will see this one dot PNG. But after a second, it will be uh, changed to two dot PNG. How? Because this will do the thing. It will set the uh, image at the index 1 and then it will do the increment by 1. So 0, 1, 2, 3. If this increment will make it greater than 3, I will reset the value to 0. Alright. And now I will create another function called start. Inside this I have used the set interval method. Basically the set interval method will take a couple of argument. The first one is the callback function. So here I have passed the name of this function with the name pick library and it will set like this uh, set interval function will keep on calling this pick library after each 1000 milliseconds. So after each 1000 milliseconds, this method will be uh, called again every time the increment will be there. That's why I have taken this particular variable i outside the scope, outside the uh, function as a global variable. All right. Uh, now, uh, it will start the things and now to stop uh, and one more thing by the time I was setting the interval I assigned the reference of this interval to the variable called ref which I have defined already now in this stop when I want to stop the slideshow of the images I will just pass that reference itself because there may be a number of intervals there in the single HTML page. So I need to specify like which particular interval I need to clear. That means uh, when I'll say clear interval ref, it will stop calling this pick library after each 1000 milliseconds. That is one second. And when actually I'm stopping that as soon as you will put the mouse over the image, it will stop it means you can easily see that particular image but as soon as you will say mouse out again that particular uh, interval would be set so uh, you can do that and one more thing I want this slideshow to be there to be started as soon as the page gets loaded so I can also call this uh, start function on the on load event so what I'll do I'll simply say start alright 
So now let's come to the browser and see how the output is looking like. So here you can see uh, the different color of logos of tutorials points are there, all right? So some of them are 1.png, 2.png and all. As soon as I will put the mouse over this image, you see now the image is not getting changed, all right? But as soon as I will move the mouse out of the image, again this transition will begin. So in the same way, you can use the set interval function for the different purposes like if you want to change the uh, color of the font or of the background at a particular time you can just set the logic like this and you can put some animations in the output on the client side.